and, and this isn't a prediction, this is a revelation, this is information, where the world elite were in there bragging that they had pumped up the housing market and that they were going to then pump the stock market back up, suck everybody in, and then implode it by design to then create a worldwide depression where they're the only lender, and so that everybody basically goes bankrupt to them and to hawk that they would then set up a bank of the world we would pay our carbon taxes to. I laid that out in a film that's been out for over two years, and now it's all come true. So my only issue is I'm not tooting my horn. Uh, this is what they're doing to us. This is completely premeditated. And so they're crazy like a fox. Uh, they are... Uh, very conscious and cognizant of exactly what they're doing. I want to get your take on where you see the economy going now, what it will be like in the jobless recovery, where we're all bankrupt serfs living on the New World Order plantation. Stay with us. All right, uh, Michael Shedlock uh, joins us, investment advisor, researcher, writer. Where do you see the economy going? I mean, I guess just everything will be paid to the bankers. We'll be putting tens of trillions of dollars more debt. Will they all be issued golden thrones and crowns? I mean, is there no end to the corruption? I mean, they're looting us ten times worse than any third world nation I've ever seen looted. I guess because we're seen as too big to fall so they can just even steal the gold fillings out of our teeth. And we'll thank them and report our neighbors if they criticize the Federal Reserve and the Army will go out and spy on them as the news. Uh, mainstream news has admitted that the... In fact, people won't believe that. Guys, Google Army spying on in the Fed protest. It was in uh, the Baltimore Sun. Go ahead, sir. Okay, uh, what we have to realize is, is this is not just happening in the United States. Worldwide is, stealing, uh, yes. Absolutely. It, it's, it's going on in the U.K., it's going on in the E.U., it's going on practically everywhere I can find. New Zealand would be one exception, uh, uh, unbelievably enough. But, but in, in China, they're doing the same thing. They're all attempting to throw money at this problem. It's attempting to st stimulate consumers. How do you stimulate consumers that don't have a job? That's really what it boils down to. That's the reason why all these stimulus plans can't work. But if you but if you notice what they did, they they, they bailed out the banks for the for the amount of money that was spent. Now, I'm not proposing that they do this. I'm just, I'm just merely making an, uh, an analogy. But for the amount of money that they that they've spent bailing out the banks, they could have paid off every mortgage in the in the entire United States. Well, yeah, Bloomberg reported three months ago that they already spent nine point four trillion. That would have paid off all the mortgages. Now that they're 14.8 and growing, uh, I guess all our mortgages are paid off and a lot of money in the bank. But instead, we get SWAT teams cracking our skulls. Exactly. And and there's a reason for this. And, and everyone's looking at this and saying, oh, my God, hyperinflation is coming. Look at all this money that's spent. No, they, they, they've, they've bailed out the banks. Bernanke doesn't want hyperinflation, nor is he. I'm not even positive that, that he, you know, wants massively rising inflation here. The, the uh, banks want to be paid back in dollars that are still worth at least something. Okay, so yeah, but look uh, what the Chinese are doing: buying gold, silver, copper, and and, and other commodities in ten-year contracts. Uh, I mean, the whole world's moving away from the dollar now, and we've got it. G20 summits, they're holding up new global currencies. Um, uh, uh, do you think they're going to kill the dollar down the road or just make it part of a larger uh, group of currencies? It's it's really hard to say exactly how the currency issue plays out. The um, uh, as, as long as, now I'd not, not only like to see an audit of the Fed, I'd like to see an audit of the gold in Fort Knox, how much is really there. But uh, uh, it's actually to the benefit of any countries that are holding a huge stockpile of gold to actually have the price go up as high as, as, as much as possible. So, you know, I don't buy some of these things that the government's, you know, you know, trying to suppress the price of gold, some of these other things. Of, of course, you know, it's, it's in their best interest for, for gold to rise. Of course, since when do governments act in anyone's best interest? So all of this stuff is rather confusing. It can play out in a, in a currency collapse next year this thing can drag on for 10 years Alex we just don't know how this is going to play out what we do know is the Fed by doing what it's doing is aggravating the problems it's it's keeping consumers in debt
that. This is this oh, bankers is just design. hate that though. They're bankers making, just hate that. They're making debt slaves out of people, and uh, uh, so they're bailing out banks. Meanwhile, the consumers still owe all this debt to banks. Houses with no jobs, houses are are going to be. Increasing foreclosures, the bottom is still not in. This recovery is going to be extremely weak. That we know. How long it all takes for this global economy to just completely collapse in some kind of, of credit dollar currency crisis somewhere, that we just don't know. But we do know it's coming. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate uh, Michael Shedlock coming on the show, and we uh, continue to follow what you're doing over at michaelshedlock.com and uh, over there on the blog spot. So thanks for joining us with your perspective. Uh, very welcome. Just have people do a Google search for Mish, M-I-S-H. Take them right to my blog. Okay, fantastic. Thank you. Appreciate you coming on the show. Um, we're going to come back in the next segment. And I've got a few more comments on the economy. Then I'm going to get into eugenics because I had that guest coming up. And so we got him on instead of continuing with the eugenics discussion. So I want to put bookends on this and finish up with some eugenics information I wanted to cover. And then a wide open phones in the final hour. Straight ahead at 1-800-259-9231.